I'm Perry, and this is an instructional video on how to do your pre-trip inspection. And we're using the international truck. Now, don't get hung up on things are in different places on different vehicles. Your idea is to know the part, not the location. Every truck's going to be different. Now, this video in conjunction with your study guide and hands-on should be able to complete a pre-trip inspection to satisfy the state requirements. Make sure my seat belt is properly mounted. It's not ripped or frayed. It latches and unlatches and is adjusted to me. I'm going to perform a safe start. Make sure the vehicle is in neutral. Both valves are out. Gauge is reset. My oil pressure should be rising to the normal operating range. Uh, my water temperature uh, should be rising to the normal operating range. My voltmeter should be rising to the normal operating range, indicating the uh, alternator is working. My air pressure will be rising to the normal operating range of 120 to 140 PSI, or however the manufacturer specified. Lighting indicators, my left indicator, my right indicator, my high beam indicator, and my four-way flashers are also working. My ABS light should have gone off and at startup, it did not, so that indicates my ABS system needs to be serviced. My horns, my city horn, highway uh -huh. horn, both operational. My mirrors are clean and adjusted to me. My windshield is a uh, free of foreign objects, it's not cracked or broken, and no, no illegal stickers. My wipers and, and blades operate smoothly, sweep across the windshield, and the washer fluid sprays across the windshield as well. My heater and defroster are operational. The defroster blows up on the windshield and heat to the floor. I'll have three extra fuses equipped. I have one uh, properly mounted secured uh, fire extinguisher and three red reflected triangles. For my brake test, release my trailer brake, keep my parking brake engaged. Park against the parking brake, it should hold. I'm now going to engage my trailer brake, release my parking brake, and the trailer brake should hold. I'm now going to release both valves, pull forward approximately 5 10 feet, apply my service brake, and the vehicle should not pull left or right. If it did, it would engage my brake so I would adjust it. I'm now going to build the air pressure back up to the governor cutoff of 120 to 140. Or the governor or the manufacturer specifications. There's my governor um, off. I'm not going to turn the engine off. Turn the power back on. I'm now going to hold steady pressure on my service brake for one minute. I should not lose more than four psi. Okay, continue. I'm going to fan my brakes, and when the pressure drops to around 55 psi, my warning light and or buzzer will activate. I'm going to continue fanning my brakes when the pressure drops at 40 psi, around 40 psi, my emergency brakes will activate. And that concludes my end cab. Uh, but before you exit, It'd be a good idea to review everything mentally. Did I forget something? Because if you forgot something, uh, you can mention it before you exit the cab. I believe I have everything. Let us go outside. Now, at this point, you'll turn on your headlights and your four-way flashers and go outside and perform the outside lights. And before exiting your truck, make sure you turn your headlights on and your four-way flashers, okay? The headlights will also activate the marker lights. My clearance lights are amber in front of the truck and they're working properly. Amber in front of the trailer and red on the rear of the trailer.
My four-way flashers are working proper. They're amber in the front of the truck, red on the rear of the truck, and red on the trailer. My headlights are also working properly. I'm now going to turn on my high beams. And my high beam headlights are also working. Now I'm going to activate my left turn signal. My left turn signal is amber in color, working properly. And it'll be amber on the left side of the truck, amber on the left side of the trailer, and red in the rear of the trailer and red in the back of the truck. Now I'm going to activate my right signal. And my right turn signal is amber in color. And it's amber in color on the mid of the tractor, uh, middle of the trailer. They're red on the back of the trailer and back of the tractor as well. And now at this point, I'll check to make sure there's no puddles under the hood, which would indicate a leak. Also make sure the vehicle's not leaning to one side or the other, which may indicate a broken shock or leaf spring. Now we'll check the engine compartment. My coolant reservoir is filled to the manual, uh, filled to the cold level or the hot level, and it's properly mounted and it's not leaking. My general belts and hoses are also the hoses are not leaking and the belts are not ripped and no more than three quarter inch play when pressed in center. My water pump is securely fastened, is no loose bolts and belt driven and is not leaking and no more than three quarter inch play when pressed in the center. My air compressor is properly bolted, there's no missing bolts and it's not leaking and is gear driven. My oil dipstick is properly secured and is not leaking and the oil contains enough for the engine. My alternator is properly bolted and there's no missing or frayed wires, it's belt driven. And my power steering pump, there's no missing bolts and it's not leaking and is also belt driven. And the power steering reservoir is filled to the cold or hot uh, level depending on the engine and it is full and is not leaking. My steering components are all properly mounted. There are no missing bolts and there's nothing bent or broken and the castle nuts and collar pins are all properly secured. I have my uh, suspension, suspension mounts. I have my front and center and rear mounts are all bolted well there's no loose bolts and they're properly mounted and my u-bolts are also properly mounted and there's no loose bolts and they're not missing my leaf springs there's no missing or shifted leaf springs and my shock is not leaking and is bolted onto the frame and the, um, uh, the mounts the brake hose is not leaking and not frayed and my brake chamber is uh, not leaking and there's no missing bolts and the clamp to, is on tight and the bolt is also on tight. My slacker adjuster and push rod has no more than one inch of play and it's not bent or broken. My dr brake drum and brake lining are not worn dangerously thin. There's no oil or grease on them and there is no illegal welds on the drum. My front tire has no uneven wear, no cuts, no bulges, no less than four thirty-second inch tread depth and it's uh, built to uh, proper running range and that's to be checked with an air gauge. My rim has no wells on the outside of the inside. My lug nuts are tight and there's no rush trail, shiny threads or oblong holes which would indicate a loose lug. My hub is filled and I can see by the sight glass that it, it has lubrication in it. I would check the other side the way I just checked this side. And my left uh, Turn signal, marker light, four-way flashes, amber colored working. My mirror, the, all the mounts are, front, are secure. There's no loose bolts and they're tight. My door opens 
and the hinges are not rusted, and the weather stripping that prevents exhaust from leaking in the cab is present and in good condition, and the door closes. My steps and my catwalk are properly bolted to the truck, and uh, there's uh, nothing on either one of them. My fuel cap, my fuel tank, and fuel line are properly mounted, and they're not leaking, and the cap is on tight. My exhaust is mounted. There's no uh, rust trails or soot around the clamp, which would indicate a loose uh, exhaust clamp, and it's uh, mounted to the frame properly. My drive shaft, uh, there's nothing illegal wrapped around the drive shaft. It's not bent or no wells on it. My frame and cross member uh, are properly mounted, and there's no wells on the frame or the cross member. My air lines from the back of the tractor and electro lines are also mounted. There's no bare frayed wires on the electrical and the uh, air lines are properly secured with no cuts or abrasions. They're not dragging on the catwalk and the electrical line is firmly secured into the lock position. No bare frayed wires. The glad hands are also in the lock position with the seals intact and there's sufficient space between the tractor and trailer for turns. The head of board is not bent or broken and able to contain my cargo. And my apron is not bent and there's no illegal wells. And my kingpin is not bent or broken. And the locking jaws are secured around the shank of the kingpin. And the fifth wheel uh, skid plate and the uh, apron are no gaps and properly lubricated. My release handle is in a safety lock position. My mounting bolts are all on tight and they're not missing and tight and my platform is also bolted and not missing any bolts and on very tight. My locking pins are in the lock position. My suspension, I have front center rear spring, uh, spring mounts and they're missing, there's no missing bolts and the bolts are on tight. My leaf springs are not missing or shifted. My U-bolts are not missing bolts and they're on tight. My shock absorber is mounted properly and is not leaking and my airbags are not leaking. Okay, my brake system. I have my brake hose, which is not leaking and mounted securely. I have my brake chamber is not leaking and the clamp and the bolts are on tight. And the slack adjuster and push rod is not bent or broken and no more than one inch of play when the brakes are released. My drums and linings um, are not bent, not, no illegal wells, no oil or grease on them and they're not worn dangerously thin. My tires, my drive, um, drive tires are no cuts, no uneven wear, no cuts, no bulges, no less than two 30 second inch tread depth. And uh, they're filled to the operating range and be checked with an air gauge. My rim is no, no wells on the outside or the inside of the rim. And my valve stem and cap are on tight. Uh, my lug nuts, are not uh, rust trails, shiny threads draw long holes, which is an NK loose lug. My hub, my axle seal is also not leaking and all the bolts are on tight. These are bud spaced tires. There's nothing caught between the tires and they're evenly spaced. I would check the three remaining axles the way I just checked those axles. Clearance light are also amber and they're in working order. My DOT reflective tape goes the length of the trailer. My mud flap is properly secured and not dragging. Again, I have my four-way flashers, my turn signals, and my brake lights are red in color. My landing gear is fully raised, the handle is in locked position, the frame is not bent, not broken, and there's no illegal wells. My mid-tractor clearance light, turn signal, and four-way flashers, amber in color, and working properly. Okay, my tandem release arm and locking pins are in the lock position. Now I'm going to check my suspension. Now, word of note about suspensions on trailers. Every trailer will have some sort of different suspension, so it is up to you, the applicant, to know what you're inspecting. This trailer specifically does not have springs, so we will check what's here on the suspension. I have my torque arm, my shocks, and my airbag. So my torque arm is not bent, broken, and the bolts on tight. My airbag 
is not leaking and bolted properly. My shocks are not leaking and bolted properly. My brake chamber is not leaking. And there's no missing bolts or parts. The clamp band is on tight with no missing bolts. My slack adjuster and push rod are not bent nor broken. And there's no uh, uh, more than one inch of play when the brakes are released. My, my brake hose is also not leaking and properly secured. Trailer tires. No cuts, no uneven wear, no bulges, no less than two thirty-second inch tread depth, and uh, properly filled. And I check it with an air gauge, and my valve stem and cap are not missing, and they're on tight. My rim has no welds on the outside or the inside. My lug nuts are properly uh, tightened, and there's no rust gel, shine thread, drop long holes with the NK loose lug. My axle seal is properly filled and I can see by the sight glass that it does have lubrication in it. And now I would check the three remaining axles here the way I just did this axle here. My mud flap is properly secured and not dragging. My door tie is properly uh, there and not missing. My rear corner clearance light is red in color. My door hinges on the trailer are properly mounted. They're not missing, broken. The weather stripping is intact. The doors are locked. My DOT reflective tape goes the width of the trailer. My tail lights, four-way flashers, clearance lights are all properly mounted and secured, and they're red in color. And I would check everything on the right side of the tractor and trailer as I did on the left side. Now, I'm going to go step on my brake pedal and if you would, Mr. Examiner, would you check my brake lights? Get the thumbs up from the examiner. And now, before you get out and tell the examiner that that completes your pre-trip, go over mentally anything outside that you may have forgotten. Because if, if there's something you think you've forgotten, before you tell the examiner and that completes my pre-trip, you can tell him and get credit for it.